Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are actually this morning walking the Port Aransas jetty. There's two jetties leading into the actual port where the ships go, and we're walking one of them all the way to the end. I don't know, just by looking at it, I'm gonna guess it's probably close to half a mile long out into the ocean. I guess we'll see when our, what our watch records. Yeah. Absolutely. But it is totally cool with all the rocks and the, you know, the way they designed it. There's sea yeah. turtles. I saw a sea turtle, but I couldn't get the camera going quick enough. Sorry. But apparently there's a lot of sea turtles in the area. And it's just a cool little walk all the way out. Tons of people fishing. Um, seems like that's the big thing to do here in Port Aransas is fish in the ocean. It's a huge fishing, huge fishing town. I mean, everywhere we go, yes. it's just deep sea fishing. And they, I mean, they are committed. A lot of this um, jetty, is, there's a, like a carved out path of the stone and it's pretty easy walk. And then there's parts of it that you come to are there's just the big old different sized rocks. And, and so it is a little bit more than just a walk. You do kind of, and you have to pay attention. Um, you don't have to have tennies. I have sandals on right now. I can see why people wear tennies, but a lot of people out here are not wearing tennies. I think it's because they're fishing and it's just kind of that beach life. Yep. But it is kind of rough terrain. So just know that, but it's very beautiful. We picked a really great day. The sun came out today and just, I don't know, it's beautiful outside. Yeah, we were kind of hoping one of these big tankers would come through. The other day we were driving by and we saw one of the big tankers shooting through the, the port right here next to the jetty, but they're all several miles out into the ocean right now. So we'll see if any come in or if any that are in the port go out while we're here, but we're gonna enjoy, enjoy a little walk. All right, we made it to the end of the jetty. We did. So cool. It is very cool. Yeah, another one of those things. I mean, it's not like on a massive list or anything like that, but if you're in the area, if you're down here in Port Aransas area, and just go on a nice little walk, get to see some cool sights and everything else. So how long did it wind up being out here? I would say about between half and three quarters of a mile. Cool. So nice I little... do think you should wear tennies if you plan to just, like you're not stopping to fish. Just wear tennies because you are on a little bit of rough terrain. Yep. So on some of it. Ooh. I just saw a dolphin pop up. Oh, oh, oh hold on. More. Hold on. Oh, well, we missed the dolphin. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, shoot. They didn't they decided only to come up once. Yep. So, anyway, distracted. Yep. Well, anyway, I was starting to say it's a good little walk in the morning. If you're in the area, come out here, get your walk on, and then go enjoy the rest of your day in beautiful Port A. Oh, so they're over there. <laughs> oh, right there. I got them. There. There it is. Yeah, there they are. There's one. All right, we caught the dolphin. <laughs> Hopefully you saw that. They decided to come up more. All right, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our day. Well, we are walking down to the beach to do sunrise. I'm taking a page out of Finding Our Sundays page book. And we don't have donuts. We don't have donuts. That's okay though. We have coffee. We so, coffee. <laughs> because we're on the east side of the Gulf Coast, we're going to get an amazing sunset, we hope, coming up over the Gulf. So we decided to get up one morning and come down here and hopefully it works out. Well, here's the thing. If you don't try, you'll never know. Yep. And I think we've talked a little bit about challenging the weather. Yes. So everything's not going to always be ideal, but you still have to be willing to get out there and try. Um, and the forecast has been super windy. Um, and so it's a little chilly. It's not terrible though. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we are under the light. And so we're like, you know what? We're just going to put a sweatshirt on and go down to the beach early in the morning. Even if it's a little chilly or in the wind, because it's been super windy the last few days here. Yeah. Um, but if you don't try, you won't know. And the fact that it's only a two minute walk to the beach. <laughs> well, a little longer than two, but it's very doable. So. All right, we're gonna give it a whirl. Good morning. Good morning. It's a road trip and wait a minute. That's your job. <laughs> I usually announce that it's a road trip and day. Okay, go ahead. 
No, it's okay. We're, we're switching it up. It's your All turn. Right. <laughs> it is a road tripping day. Yes. We're leaving Port Aransas and we're in line to get on the ferry mm -hmm. with the RV. Yes. And as you can see, it is so foggy. We can barely see about 10 cars in front of us. It's actually a little bit better than it was when we pulled out of the RV park. Yes. Um, but I feel like the people that work here and do this, this is like easy peasy. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Right. I think they're just so used to it. So um, as of our whole experience of Texas so far, everybody is just so kind here. Mm -hmm. So we are in line and we will see. Kevin and I took the ferry uh, earlier this week. We had an appointment with Ford to get our oil changed. And so we took the ferry already in our truck, but we've never done it in the RV. So, yes. but everybody we talked to said, well, John and Lisa Harrison said, easy mm -hmm. peasy, um, and all the locals. And so yeah. we uh <laughs> gonna cut, what, about an hour off of our drive time? At least an hour off the drive time, so, yes totally worth it and it's it's made for it it's it's how the yeah. semis do it it's how everybody does it so yeah they say if you're smaller than a semi no problem getting on the getting on the ferry always an experience when you're driving something this big and you got to fit like right. uh like tetris <laughs> but yeah. like i said they seem to have it down to a science all right we are in we're on the ferry in like flint no i'm just kidding but wow i mean they have this, it down to a science. This is down to a science. It's amazing. They knew where to stack stack us. Yeah. And they let different lanes go. And they held up other cars. And then we just pulled right in. Yeah. Like, it was nothing. It was awesome. Yeah. And it's funny because we did it, like I said, when we went to Ford. And there were no RVs. And so it was just... Mm -hmm. But even that is down to a science. Now, the RVs take a little bit longer, I think, because they've got to file them in. But, right. like, you are inched up on a car and then they have oh. it just I, like it's perfect and they're so kind yes so anywho's we're gonna enjoy the ferry ride yeah. and we'll talk to you when we get off the ride yesterday was road tripping day we got here to Galveston and we didn't do a lot of recording on the way because the weather kind of was off. <laughs> very foggy, very hazy. Yeah, um, I think that's what the weather cap, uh, the weather app calls it, huh? Haze. Haze, yeah. We call it fog, but yeah. what do we know? We don't get very much fog where we come from, but nonetheless, very hard to see. So this afternoon, you know, we decided we're going to drive into... The downtown area and check it out and see what it's about make sure it was uh e-bike friendly the lady at the rv park said it was but we just wanted to make sure that the bike lanes or the sidewalks were, were uh were conducive enough and they seem like they are yeah sometimes it's great to get the lay of the land so you kind of have yes. a plan when you get out there yes and the main drag here in galveston they call it the seawall and it's because the ocean is literally right there, right outside of uh, Larica's window. <laughs> so it's going to be good. So the RV manager, um, she was very, oh, do your bikes. Don't even do your cars because traffic is so bad. And it is. I'll tell you right so, now, traffic is pretty bad right now. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Salsas. Salsas. Yeah. Um, We're looking have, at restaurants. And right? they have a happy hour. I just like to see yeah. what is different here. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, but very sweet lady. And she said, oh, you'll enjoy doing the e-bikes more than driving because of the traffic and the parking and the parking and all of that. So, um, you know, we like to get on our bikes and go. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see weather permitting. So it is supposed to be a little dreary this week. We're hoping the sun decides to conquer it a little bit. Yeah. There's times where it shows the sun. Um, and you can tell it's like trying to fight it. <laughs> yes. So we'll see. We'll see. But Ooh, either way, we will, either way, you know us, we'll make the best of it. Weather is not going to, uh, it's not going to win in our book because we're here and uh, we want to do stuff. We're at NASA just outside of Houston. I've been looking forward to this for a long time when we started planning this uh, loop of the trip. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. We got a space shuttle behind us and waiting for our time to get in. If you guys come here, you have to 
buy your tickets and then select a time when you're gonna enter and they're pretty strict on it. So we're about half an hour before our time to get in. So there's one there's one tram tour that you pay extra for, that's mission control, and there's two other ones that are included. So they are pretty strict on when you enter. So our entry time is 10 a.m., which is when they open. And I think our mission control tour is like 11.30 or 11.20. So yeah, so we'll have some time to walk around and check it all out. I've been looking forward to this and I'm gonna show you around. Just did the Apollo 11 mission control tour. Oh, the tram tour. The tram tour. Yes. Totally cool. They take yeah. you to the actual mission control room where they did Apollo 11 when it landed on the moon for the first time. That was amazing. And now we're actually getting ready to go to the astronaut training tram tour. Well, the mission control, what's really cool about it is it's, it's like... The real one. But, but like... They, they have it so detailed, like yes. to like all the ashtrays and the cigarettes. Oh, yeah. And all the drinks, and it was amazing yes. to just see that it's like still there. And then they do a whole recreation and let you kind of, they put up on the screens in Mission Control everything going on when it happened. And then and you see else. the actual, yeah. Yes. You hear the actual footage of it, which no. was very good. Here you go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Here you go, Houston, you're a go for landing, Albert. And now we're getting ready to go on the astronaut training tram tour which is gonna be really cool. And in the meantime, you just kind of walk around inside here and you look at all the exhibits and everything else. It's a really cool place. It really is, well worth it. It is. Well, we'll give you all the details here in a minute. done three different tram tours mm -hmm. we did the mission control one first then we did the astronaut training and then we did the Saturn uh, rocket location it was really cool this was a great day mm -hmm. I recommend doing all the tours yep uh, that's how you get a little bit more interactive a lot more facts um, different things that you learn and, and the stuff is really cool to see in person um, Johnson Space Center just outside of Houston. Uh, go on the website. I know the prices fluctuate a little bit. I think ours were $44.95, and that includes the Mission Control Tour. That's an extra $10. Mm -hmm. And you buy it as a package. So yeah, well worth it. It was a great day. Um, you have plenty of time to go look at all the exhibits and everything inside. Yeah, they have a big area too that's called the Food Lab that has, mm, what, like six or seven different mm -hmm. Food, different types of food in there. You order from a kiosk and then you pick up your food. So like what we did is we ordered a pizza to share and then a salad. Yeah. And it's super fast. Um, we, I think we agree, not the greatest food, but not the worst food. Like right. you need to eat. So yeah. it, and actually the salad was amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I don't know. 
So it was good. We it was it's been a good day. We want to check out some of the stuff inside and uh, look at that other gift shop. Yeah, just as they say, it's a little bigger and it's been good. All right, it's been so cool. Goodbye from NASA.